Adam Gadon, the so-called American Al-Qaeda who uh, proclaimed himself the media maven, if you will, for Al-Qaeda and was uh, helping to produce a lot of these so-called Al-Qaeda videos that were all over the Internet that made Al-Qaeda look really bad and made the Muslims look bad. Should you fail to comply in full, we will deem it sufficient justification to continue to fight and kill Americans. Come to find out, Adam Gadon's real name was Adam Perlman. And not only was he, in fact, Jewish, he was the grandson of a member of the board of the Anti-Defamation League. And if you've been following the history of the Anti-Defamation League, you will find out they've been very much involved in covertly supporting a lot of these so-called American Nazi movements. In fact, uh, all the way back, just about the time of World War II, there was this scandal where the head of the American Nazi Party, which had a total membership of like six, and yet they were getting all this this press, um, was arrested for embezzling from his sponsors, which turned out to be the ADL. So that kind of blew up in their faces. So anyway, we have Adam Perlman, and he's been going around saying, I'm Al-Qaeda, I'm Al-Qaeda, see, I got a turban on my head, I'm a terrible Muslim, got to hate me, got to be afraid of me, and of course everybody's laughing at him now because we all know who he is. Okay, so... They have brought in the understudy, and there is a new American Al-Qaeda named Yosef Al-Khattab. Ooh, big scary name, and they've got a picture of him out there where he's holding all these guns and knives, and he's dressed up like a wannabe Rambo, and he's scowling at the camera, and he supposedly has this website with things in it, like pictures of the Statue of Liberty with an axe buried in the back of the head. I mean, very heavy-handed, very over-the-top. There was also a link to a puppet show mocking Danny Pearl's beheading. Take a look. Oh, that's awful. You know, just looking more like a, a movie uh, prop than, uh, than anything else here. So, uh, as it turns out, this is another fake. His real name is Joseph Cohen. He's a 39-year-old New York City taxi driver, as you mentioned. He, he, he uh, called himself Yusuf al Qadab, but he was born Joseph Cohen here in America. He is a Jew. And he is another manufactured front to try and convince Americans that al-Qaeda is actually here in the United States. And this is why we've got to be doing this, uh, doing surveillance on the American people and reading their email and listening to their phone calls and all this stuff, because you never know when we're going to get into a situation. Uh, with the American Al-Qaeda. And it's all a front. It's a fake. He's up there. He, he's, he's there to try and create an enemy that doesn't really exist in order to justify the totalitarian treatment of the American people and to encourage us to go and attack them before they kill us. They're already here on the home front. We've got to go bomb those darned, those gosh darn Muslims because they're, they're infiltrating America and they're, 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 they're ripping tags off of couch cushions and they're causing global warming and we've got to go. In the, it's nonsense. It's all war propaganda.